cotton stocking net to protect the skin. Roll all the way up until axilla. Take a 6 cm finger bandage. Secure the finger bandage. Start on the little finger side and go over to the base of the thumb. We wrap each finger 3 or 4 times until you cannot see the skin underneath. Afterwards, go down from the base of the thumb and come up from little finger, then wrap the next finger. Make sure to keep the finger bandage flat. If there is any excess, to wrap around the metacarpals and base of the thumb, avoid pressure over the wound. Now we take a 4 cm gauze, fix at the metacarpals, and continue to wrap the little finger for 3 or 4 times. Then move on to thumb. Make a figure 8 pattern to close in the 6 cm gauze flat at the base of each finger. Wrap the gauze in same manner before going to the next finger. The stocking net is then pulled down over the hand and the thumb placed through the hole. We take a 10 cm cotton padding. Put in the thumb, beginning on the palm. Wrap the cotton over the back of the hand. Spread the fingers. Make sure to apply two layers of cotton when over the wound to provide more padding. Continue wrapping the cotton up hand. And the rest of the cotton is used up the arm. The elbow should be flexed from 30 to 40 degrees, and the cotton continue up to axilla. Spread the fingers. Now, we take a 6 cm width short stretch bandage for the hand. Place on the little finger side of the palm and cross over to the base of thumb. Continue over back of the hand to little finger. Cover the space between the first web space, then over the dorsum side of the hand over the metacarpals. Repeat the same manner for another round. After the surgery, to only apply light pressure, the rest of the bandage is wrapped up the arm with 50% overlap with equal light pressure. The elbow is flexed from 30 to 40 degrees to maintain functioning of the arm. An 8 cm width short stretch bandage is then used on the arm.
overlapping 50% with the same light tension on each turn of the bandage, light pulling on both sides. If there is any excess, to lay down the bandage without any tension. As the surgery is still new, only one layer of short-stretched bandage is applied. Fix the end of the bandage with tape. Check for even overlap of the bandage. Bandage should be same pressure throughout and not be painful. Check the range. The bandage should not restrict your movement.